Welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw Review. Yeah. Okay, Devin, that's enough from you, pal. Get back to your corner. You're being naughty. Hey guys, what's up? Um, back with another video. Uh, this time we're gonna do my WWE Monday Night Raw review from last night. Uh, so this is the June twentieth edition of Monday Night Raw. So uh, let's get on with this, shall we? As, the, as we continue get down the road to Money in the Bank on July second. So. Well, about a, week, a couple of weeks' time. So it kicked off Raw with the announcement. Uh, Bianca Belair came out, the Raw Women's Champion, to uh, announce that uh, her challenger, Rhea Ripley, had uh, was not medically cleared, uh, so is out of the Money in the Bank ladder, uh, the Money in the Bank title match, uh, which is a shame because uh, you know, I was really looking forward to that match. But uh, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, the, the, she said she announced that it was going to be a five-way. To determine the number one contender, and uh, those five participants would supposedly uh, meet later on in the night to, uh, you know, to fight to become number one contender. Uh, but of course, this is the opening of Money Night Raw. Nothing is ever that simple, you know. Uh, you know, you can't have it's Money Night Raw. It's uncensored. It's live, and you know all that sizzle for sizzle. So uh, as every Money Night Raw episode seems to go, chaos seems to follow. Uh, as the five participants came out interrupting each other, you know we had come out. We had uh, um, Becky Lynch came out. She complained. Asuka complained. Asuka came out and called Big Time Becky loser. You know a Big Time Becky a baby, a uh, Big Time baby as the usual. Uh, Liv Morgan came out. Alexa Bliss and uh, Carmella came out, which they, they were the, they were the five participants. Which led to the first match. Um, we had the uh, the, one, the five fatal five way number one contender match. Great match. Uh, awesome stuff. Uh, the ladies put out a good match. Uh, great stuff. Uh, Alexa Bliss, you know, all showcased their great ability, and uh, Carmella won. So kind of predictable, really, considering that the other four participants were either in Money in the Bank, like the Money in the Bank ladder match, or you know, having qualified matches. Had qualifying matches um, set for Money in the Bank, so uh, so yeah, and I had a few, yeah, so kind of obvious winner. Um, I've heard people, say, I've heard people, other people say that it's kind of a downgrade for to go from Rhea Ripley for, 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 to now Carmella, but it is what it is. You know, it can't be helped, and uh, you know, all, all I got to say is um, get look better, get get better soon, Rhea Ripley. So, and then we can have the match, so. Well, between Bianca and Rhea Ripley, that made it sound like I was wanting the match with her. That's, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I want, seriously. Anyway. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. Carmella gets the win, uh, pinning Liv Morgan. And, uh, yeah, uh, getting the number, becoming number contender. Good stuff. Then, then we had uh, everyone's favourite, uh, everyone's favourite right now, if you listen to the wrestling news. Uh, Vince McMahon, damn it! Or Mr. McMahon. Uh, he came out to um, cut a promo. Or basically to advertise the fact that John Cena's returning next week. Even though we already knew that. Because it's been announced the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to put it down as... I'm going to put it down as Vince. You know, he's getting on in age now. He's getting on a bit on in age. And uh, he probably simply forgot that they played a video package about two minutes, be you know, about a couple of minutes before Vince came out. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna. <laughs> it is the way it is. I've got nothing. Too I've got nothing too much to say about the, you know, the Vince situation or uh, him appearing on Raw last night or SmackDown last Friday. So, it is what it is. I'm gonna move on, and uh, I'll let other people cry and whine and complain about it. Anyway, uh, next next segment we had a uh, riddle coming out. Uh, he cut a promo on them um, failing to beat Roman Reigns at uh, on SmackDown last Friday. Uh, but he's so sad that he let Rand Randy down, and um, he said he's going to he's going to win Money in the Bank, and uh, he want his goal is to win Money in the Bank and uh, cash in on Roman Reigns because that's the only way he can get a title shot now as long as Roman is the champion. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, he takes on Omos in a qualifying match, Money Bank qualifying match. And, uh, because of the 
injuries sustained in the match against Roman Reigns, he fails. So Ormos qualifies for Money in the Bank. Match was the way it was. Wasn't that long. Uh, Seth Ricky Rollins was uh, laughing at the fact that Riddle failed. And he, he then came out and beat Riddle up. Uh, and then basically said that if, if, if there's only one man that has Roman Reigns' number and, and the, uh, there's only one man that can dethrone Roman Reigns, that's him. Um, which could be a, a good possibility that that could happen. But uh, I don't think Seth attacking Riddle is a good... Uh, it's a good feud, but it's, a, it's, not a good exe- it's not a good way for Seth to uh, get, it, get on that path because I think he may have just made an enemy and Riddle might, act, might, might cost him that much now. So, yeah, it'd be a good feud going forward and maybe going into SummerSlam, Seth versus Riddle. I, I like that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that was, uh, that, was, that was all good. Seth being Seth as always, being awesome stuff. And we had a, a theory, a the- U.S. champion theory promo uh, on the podium on uh, on John Cena's return next week, and also Bobby Lashley had opposed down last week, and uh, he got interrupted by Bobby Lashley in a awesome fashion where he went to take a selfie, and Lashley was behind him and he didn't realize it, and then he got speared off the podium, which was fantastic. And lastly, once a U.S. title shot, which uh, more on that later. Uh, then we had uh, the Usos and Street Profits came out. They cut a promo on each other, going back and forth uh, ahead of their collision at Money in the Bank. And uh, that set up a match between uh, Angelo Dawkins and Jay Uso, main event Us. And uh, on this night, main event Us was uh, main event Us was not main event Us as uh, Angelo Dawkins picks up the win. Doing 50-50 booking is what it is. You know, can't really complain too much. It's going to be a great match at Money in the Bank. Is what it is. Uh, next, ma- uh, next stuff, we had uh, the Elias concert. Uh, Elias, <laughs> this was funny. The Elias and Ezekiel uh, 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 video, video stuff and all that stuff and all that crazy nonsense. And uh, more playing mind games with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens interrupts the Elias concert and uh, gets hit with a guitar by Elias. So, and, um, yeah. So, yeah, I was very intrigued to see what they would do with this Elias stuff going it, it, coming it, this week. And uh, I think you will probably have to go see it for yourself. It's it's funny. It, it reminds me of the, man, the, the Mick Foley, Mankind, Dude Love, stuff when they would do the backstage uh, stuff where you know they're in the same place at once it's funny funny stuff uh, and that, of course Kevin Owens has challenged uh, either Elias or Ezekiel or his or their their younger brother because of that there's now a third person e- Alrod I think I'm pronouncing that right to a match next week and uh, that should be fun <laughs> this, uh, this, uh, this funny story continues I guess uh, anyway, moving on, we had uh, Bobby Lashley. Uh, Bobby Lashley wants a U.S. title shot. He has to earn it uh, in a gauntlet match. He has to fight Chad Gable, Otis, and then the uh, Theory in a gauntlet match. And he does exactly that. He beats Chad Gable uh, via tap out, then Otis uh, via disqualification. And then the, the, all, all, the all two of them beat him up, and Theory thinks he's got the better of him. Goes for his finish it, and Bobby Lashley rolls him up and pins him. So Lashley gets a title shot at the uh, Money in the Bank. So pretty cool. The heel got thwarted, thwarted and uh, yeah, we got a match set up for Money in the Bank, US title match. That's just, that's all right. That's pretty fine. Uh, Miss TV with AJ Styles. <coughs> Sorry that. <there. coughs> Jesus. It was what it was. Uh, <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, it was what it was. Um, AJ, you know, Miz was saying that AJ's a failure because he lost to Seth last week. And basically, and AJ mentioned Miz's balls because apparently that's a running gag now every single week about Miz's balls, how big Miz's testicles are. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, 
AJ atta- uh, punched Miz and then Cham- Tommaso Ciampa or Ciampa uh, attacked AJ and now it looks like he may be aligned with the Miz even though it's been he's been because he's been attacking people who have been attacking Miz last couple of weeks, which leads to a match AJ Styles against Ciampa. Uh, AJ beats him in like four minutes or whatever it was. Could have been a bit longer, but uh, it it was to be expected. And, uh, yeah, it was good while it lasted, and uh, not much to it. Not much else. AJ, get, AJ picks up the win and then hits Miz with a Styles Clash. And then uh, puts Miz's glasses on. It looks pretty phenomenal, if I may say so myself. He's AJ fucking Styles. Looking good. And, uh, yeah, so on and so on. And then, of course, the main event. We had the Money in Event qualifying match. This match was set up last week. Uh, we had Asuka taking on Becky Lynch. Uh, great match, as usual. Uh, these two have... Phenomenal chemistry, all that, all, all that other stuff, you know what I mean, like the chemistry and all that stuff, and uh, awesome stuff, uh, awesome character work from Becky and uh, Asuka, pins are clean, I was kind of surprised that it was clean, I didn't, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting like a roll up or something, but it was, no, it was just a kick, a straight kick to the head, and uh, pins are clean in the middle, so Asuka has now qualified for Money in the Bank, and uh the show ends with Asuka celebrating and uh, Becky, big time Bex having a meltdown, a uh, big time meltdown as she uh, throws the 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 the, the, the announce table covering off and starts slamming things and having a having a, a, t- a temper tantrum and it was awesome and uh, yeah the um, the down the continuation of the uh, Becky Lynch character continues to be amazing and uh, big thumbs up on that case so, yeah. Uh, very positive episode of Monday Night Raw. I know a lot of people are going to dwell on the Vince McMahon appearance. Uh, I, uh, for me personally, I'm not going to say too much about. I'm not going to say anything about the Vince situation in real life. I'm just here to watch this freaking you know the wrestling show, and uh, you know I'm not going to sit here for ten hours moaning and crying and bitching and moaning about Vince. If you want that. Um, if you want that kind of stuff, there's other YouTube channels that will deliver that that kind of anger. So I, you know, it is what it is. Um, me the show up the show, show itself, it was fine. Um, probably if I was going to give it a like a, a score out of if I was going to give it a score out of ten, probably give it a six. I think it was I think it was an, a, a decent show. Uh, nothing nothing like over the top happened. Uh, and we're getting prepared for Money in the Bank, and also John Cena's return next week, so uh, stay tuned for that one next week, John Cena returns, and uh, that should be fun, fun times to be had, and uh, yeah, that's it for now, that's it, Uh, hope you enjoyed the review guys, Um, tell me what you thought of Raw in the comments section, and uh, I'll see you guys later, have a nice day, and I'm out.